Chita Tobago Representative Braden Roberts stated that incorporating immigrant children into the Trinidad and Tobago public school system presents some challenges. While he strongly supports education for all children, Roberts highlights the current school system, which he said is already overburdened by a lack of resources and space. There are two sides of the coin with this thing. The less delinquent people in your community is better for society. So we need to ensure that the persons in our society, whether they come from Venezuela or citizens, are educated and are positive-minded. So schooling would benefit them and benefit us even more. On the contrary, while Roberts acknowledges the importance of educating Venezuelan migrants, he believes that the school pre present system may not be able to facilitate them. This, he says, is due to space and infrastructural challenges. However, we just don't have the capacity. So our regular schooling resources have, has been a problem. We would have had challenges with space in a majority of our schools. There are a few rural schools that would have some, some space. But we don't have the space. We have infrastructural issues that we, we, we struggle to treat with. Roberts is concerned about whether necessary steps have been taken to mitigate the potential threat of a language barrier. But the language barrier would be a concern and it would affect the rest of the class if they are going to be integrated into the, the, the whole school and if they are going to be um, separated, you will need to get the requisite teachers to so treat with.